Hi, this is David McCam for WebTNG. This video, I'm looking at how to create a view to show in the parent page the child pages. So here's a parent page, and it has three children. And the way that's set up is pages have an option to be hierarchical. So here's the parent page, what you need to know. And now when you go over to the first thing you need to know, it has the parent set and its order of one. Okay, and this one has an order of two and this one has an order of three. And that creates this menu order. Okay, so in this page, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a tool set view and then we're gonna embed it under here and the tool set view will show the other three pages. So let's go to tool set views, add new, display all results, show child pages. Okay, so here now, what post type are we doing? Pages. Don't include the current page in the result. That sounds good because we want the children, not the parent, because we're embedding it in the parent. Now order by not post date, but let's see, by menu order. Okay, because remember we set that menu order, one, two, three. In descending, we want ascending. Okay, so I don't think we need a secondary sort. And then we're gonna need a filter to tell it that we don't want all pages, we just want ones that are children of what do you need to know. So let's add a filter. We're going to filter by post parent. Pretty cool that Toolset has that option, huh? Okay. And then we can do some more settings. So the parent is the page where the view is being shown. That's what we want. So let's save that. Okay, and then we go down here to the loop wizard. And I'm just gonna say unformatted and select the fields to show. So I'm gonna show the post title and then the content post body. You could add other fields if you need them. Let's edit this with the block editor. It created a template for us. We don't. Let's just convert it to blocks. I think we can. Let's just use make our own template. And we'll do heading dynamic post title, and then we'll add single field, and it'll be content. And let's see, let's add a divider, separator, and let's put that at the top. Can we go there? Yeah, okay. So we'll update. Okay, now let's go to our page. And this is the one we want to update the view in. So we'll do view. And we'll select that view. Show child pages. Okay, I'm going to save it. And now let's go view the page. Here's what you need to know. Here's the first thing you need to know, the second thing you know, need to know, and the third thing you need to know. Okay, so we've achieved the goal. I hope the video was useful.